Hello, I am Elizabeth Sochi, the art curator for Northampton Museums and Art Gallery, and I will be taking you on a tour of our Eleanor Cross pictures. I will begin by giving you some background information on the crosses in our collection, before moving on to highlight some artworks in more detail and ending our tour by considering why the artists have chosen to depict the Eleanor Cross. Firstly, let's look briefly at the creation of the Northampton Eleanor Cross. This was built between 1291 and 1292. King Edward I had this cross and 11 others constructed in memory of his beloved wife, Eleanor of Castile, who died in November 1290. The crosses mark the 12 nightly resting places for her body when it was transported back to London from Harby, Nottinghamshire, about seven miles from Lincoln. So how do these Eleanor Cross works fit into our art collection? Well, landscapes make up a large part of the museum's collection of fine art, and a substantial portion of these focus on local countryside and views of the town, particularly of significant buildings like Northampton's churches. Nevertheless, the quantity of depictions of the Northampton Eleanor Cross is certainly significant, particularly in comparison to artworks showing other local monuments and buildings. This implies that not only did the curators in past years see these works as important to collect, but the artists of the past recognised the importance of our Eleanor Cross. Interestingly, the artists are not all local, and you will find out more about them and further reasons why they portrayed the cross as our tour continues. The tour will also highlight the similarities and differences between the works, recognising that it is often the artist's individual and distinctive interpretation of the Eleanor Cross that makes the depiction particularly interesting.